another long day, and this is the actually the final day of the ESC meeting here in Vienna. As you can see, the hallways are empty. Everybody's kind of left. And I wanted to share with you this, this uh, video as I had a conversation uh, with one of our viewers from Germany, Dominique, who was a dentist practicing near Frankfurt and was asking me a question that I thought would be relevant and might be of some interest to some of you guys out there. So I figured I'll share with you his question, which was how do I deal with a patient that is scheduled to have a treatment, a full treatment, you know, you schedule an hour, hour and a half or something like that for it. You go inside the tooth and you find out the tooth is unsalvageable and, or it's cracked specifically. And then what do you do? How do you actually manage the charging and so on for the patient? I think that's relevant. Obviously, all of us have been in a situation in which we feel that you know, a tooth is salvageable, but we don't know for sure. And so we want to go in there and try to treat this patient and uh, only to find out that the root is fractured or cracked very deeply and our judgment at that point is not to save this tooth. So since we don't do the treatment, then what do we do if we don't charge the patient at all? Obviously, you know, you spend, you know, running a practice, there's just clearly a lot of overhead with the assistants, the materials, all this stuff, you know, putting rubber dam on, everything consumable has a price tag associated with it. Certainly you can't charge the full price for the root canal and certainly you can't be pushed to do treatment and do the procedure even though you feel that it doesn't have a good prognosis. So that's a very tough kind of a nut to crack, and I figured it would be something that we can address in this video and also hear your feedback down below in the comments as to how do you handle situations like this. So are we going to do the treatment or not? Clearly, we shouldn't be doing the treatment if we feel that the tooth is unsalvageable. But the way I handle these cases is usually I have, whether from a preoperative radiograph or from my experience over the years, have an idea if the tooth is questionable before I get started. It's not that often that I have a tooth that I think is certainly savable and I go inside and find it has a, you know, irrepar irreparable or unsalvageable uh, type of a vertical root fracture. The same thing is true with surgical cases in which I try to go in there and do an epicoectomy. If there is any question about the prognosis of the tooth, then what I usually do and the way I handle the cases with patients is that I call these types of procedures exploratory procedures. So I say, uh, Mrs. Jones, what we're gonna do is we're going to do an exploratory procedure to see if the tooth is salvageable. And then the cost of that procedure usually is X. And that generally, in my opinion, should be somewhere around anywhere from 25 to 50% uh, uh, of the, the fee of the procedure, because certainly most of the fee associated with these cases is the setup of the time, and also the fact that I have to block that given time to do the full procedure if it's savable. So I end up maybe losing a little bit of money, but it ends up being more fair to the patient. At the same time, I'm not eating uh, too much of the cost and the overhead. So somewhere in that range of 25 to 50% of the fee, the actual fee, to set up a block of time that is appropriate to do the procedure is adequate to go inside the tooth and figure out if the tooth is salvageable or not. So when I go in the tooth and I may see the tooth that's cracked and then at that point I'll make a call whether I feel it's salvageable and can be treated or not. If it is treated, then the patient only has to be ready for the remainder of the, uh, from, the from, from that uh, exploratory fee all the way to the full fee is what they would be informed of. So the, as anything else, these types of cases revolve around proper communication with the patient ahead of time. The old saying is that any explanation after the fact is an excuse, and that's probably why it's very important to make sure that you actually speak to your uh, patients ahead of time and get them ready for the possibility of the tooth being unsalvageable before we get started. And what you would do is as soon as you find out that there is a questionable prognosis, you tell the patient, okay, we're not sure if this tooth is salvageable. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside and do an exploratory procedure. The full fee for the procedure is X and the exploratory procedure is X minus Y. And so as a result, what we're gonna do is, uh, this is the way we're gonna go. And, and when you go inside the tooth, if this is salvageable and savable, then the patient's happy because they're gonna be able to save the tooth. And if, they're, if you're not able to save the tooth, they've been informed ahead of time and that they know what the fee for it is. As, as usual, the key to all success in practice is proper communication. And I figured this would be a good video to make to explain that. Now also for surgical cases, what I do also is the same exact thing. If, if I see a tooth that is going to need an epicoectomy me, but from the look of it and my experience, it probably will have a questionable prognosis. I'm not sure if the root is fractured or not. I will call that also an exploratory surgery and then a surgical fee. And then that same formula 
uh, would apply here. And again, it's all about patient communication and letting them know ahead of time. All right, so it's a quick little video here from the ESC. On the last day, I'm heading back to Boston tomorrow, and I'll be making some more videos for you guys when I get there. All right, have a good one. Let's save some teeth.